In this episode, we're gonna show you how to prepare and set up your Fry Control G2 unit before you can start adding projects and creating shows. To be able to start programming your show, you'll need to add some effects and units to your library. This is where you will add your DMX units, relay boxes, and your pyrotechnical effects. Start by entering the name of the effect that you want to add to your library. In this example, we're using a 12 meter silver jet. All the effects that you've added will now line up in the list in your effects library. Hit the back button and go back to your library landing page. Now let's add some relay units. In this example, we're using a CO2 jet. You can add as many relay units as you like. So while I'm at it, I'm adding another aerosol flame unit as well. Go to your DMX library. And just like before, you put in the name of the unit that you're planning to use. In this case, we're going for a switch pack. Go on and add the number of channels that your unit uses. In this case, the switch pack uses five channels. From a starting point, a switch pack is not always determined to what it's going to be used for, since you might want to use it for different units and different shows. What we do know, however, is that we wish to use the first channel as a safety. So let's go ahead and add that. We'll leave the other channels empty for now. Let's add another DMX unit. This time we'll go for a fog machine. Add the number of channels and set the first channel, which will be the chiller. And the second one will be used for sending out the actual fog. As you can see, both of the DMX units are now lined up in your DMX library. Inside a project, you will be able to add your shows. Let's say that you are on tour with an artist who has a lot of different effects in different songs throughout the whole concert. You can create a show for each individual song, and this makes it easy to keep a good overview and to jump between songs when there are changes made to the setlist during the tour. So go ahead and create your new project and add a name to it. Before you will be able to add a new show, a backup queue, or program the wing, we need to create a scene setup. In the top menu bar, you now see the different types of units and modules that you're able to use. Here you see field module, PD module, DMX unit, and relay box. In this case, we're adding a field module for pyros. Add your desired address for the field module. You can either do it for one module at the time, or you can add multiple modules by setting the first and the last address of the modules that you wish to add. In this case, we're adding four modules. We can also choose to add a relay box. And in this case, we're going for a G2 relay box. And as usual, add your desired address. Let's also add a DMX unit that we're going to use in our project. Here you'll see the units that you have added to your library. Let's add the switch pack first. Here you'll enter the start address. Once added, you'll now see the next available address for the next unit. Add the fog machine to your project too. We're setting the start address to 511. And once added, you'll notice the next available address for the next unit is still going to be 6. Hit the exit button and you will now see your added DMX units for your project. The switch pack that uses 5 channels with start address 1 and the fog machine which uses 2 channels with the start address 511. When pressing and holding a DMX unit, the configuration window will appear. Here you can add or edit the names of the different channels that the unit will use. In this example, we're using CO2 jets on all four channels, plus a safety channel as number one. 
And here you can also change the address of the channels that we're using. Same thing applies to the other added units. Press and hold and edit or add the names and addresses of your channels. So now added to our scene setup is one relay box on channel 100, a DMX switch pack and a fog machine, and four G2 field modules for pyros. The field modules can now be assigned with the pyrotechnical effects that you have added to your library. In this case, we're adding one type of effect to all the modules. Tap the modules that you wish to assign and hit the button. The little black screen at the top gives you an overview on which field modules you're assigning. To the right, you'll see the effects added to your Pyro library. In this case, we only have a silver jet. Click on the outlet of the field module that you wish to assign and click on the effect they wish to use. If you want to add one type of effect to more than one outlet at a time, just tap the outlets you wish to assign and click on the effect. If you press and hold on a specific field module, you will enter the test view where you will see which effects have been assigned to which outlets. More about running tests will be talked about in video tutorial number three. Now go to your relay box. Select the box and click assign. And just like before, tap the outlets and pick the unit that you wish to use. Then confirm by clicking OK. We have now created our scene and set up in our project and we're ready to start working on some shows. In the next tutorial, we will show you how to create shows and add cues to your firing script in a few different ways.